Welcome to Consolidated Graphics' latest addition to their WorkSmart suite, Publish. Publish is a plugin designed specifically to be installed within Adobe InDesign. The free Publish Powered by Blurb plugin allows you to create an array of book sizes, including the new 8.5 by 11 inch size, without having to worry about any of the technical details such as dimensions, PDF generation, or uploading. Simply download the plugin right here. Be sure to download the correct plugin for your version of Adobe InDesign for Mac or Windows. Then just follow the easy installation instructions. And if you do need some additional help, click this link right here and it'll take you to our help page. The help page provides general guidelines as well as help with installing or help with using the plugin. Once the plugin's been installed, launch Adobe InDesign and look right here at the bottom of the file menu and you'll see the plugin CGX Publish. Selecting the CGX Publish plugin will bring up the project management window. The project window consists of three sections. Step one of your book details, step two is creating your templates, and step three is uploading your book. I'll begin by entering the book details which consists of a title for my book, an author name, and then choosing a book size. All of the blurb book sizes are available here, including the new letter size, which I will create here. Once you select the book size, only the paper types available will be shown at that time. So this one is a standard paper, and I'm going to choose a soft cover with no spine, which is also known as a saddle stitch book as opposed to a perfect bound book which has a spine. And finally an approximate number of pages. This can be changed prior to making your cover template. Now that we've completed all of our book details in section 1, we can move to step 2 which is creating our pages template. We always need to create the pages template first because before we can create a cover template we have to know the exact page count of the book. The plugin has now created a full template for our pages. And as you can see, it starts with page one on the right. All odd pages will be on the right hand side, and that followed by pages two, three, four, five, etc., as spreads until you get to the last page, which will be a left hand page, page 44. Also included on the template are some very helpful instructions, including up here, which will show you the bleed, the trim, and the safe art boundaries. Images that you would like to cover the entire page should be pulled out to the bleed line and any important text should be kept within the safe art boundary. All of the instructions are on a special instruction layer and will not export when you export your book to print. All of your design should go on the layer your design goes here. None of the instruction layer will be exported with your book and you can always hide it by clicking on the eyeball next to the instructions layer. So you've now finished creating your pages design and you're ready to create your cover template. Be sure to update the number of pages if you've made any changes in your pages design. All of Blurb books, except for the new letter size, allow for printing only on the outside cover and not on the inside covers. The template is designed as a one-page document with the front cover on the right-hand side, the spine in the middle, and the back cover on the left. Like the pages template, the cover template also includes instructions, as well as markup including the bleed, trim, and the safe area. Since this is the new letter size template for our cover, we also have a second page which has the inside front cover on the left and the inside back cover on the right. And just like our pages template, the cover template instruction layer can be hidden and will not export when you export your book. You've now finished your design of your cover and your pages, and both files are open so that you can review them one last time. The last step is to simply go back to the Publish plugin window and select Upload, where your files will go through a pre-flight, PDF generation, and upload to Blurb. Once this process is complete, you will be taken directly to a web page right on the Blurb site where you can order your book. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope this gets you excited to make some books for your business or yourself, and we'll talk to you soon.